Hi, I'm Daisha, and I'm a Youth Services Library Specialist with Omaha Public Library. Welcome to STEAM Story Connections. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the book Sink or Swim by Valerie Coleman. This is a tumble book, which can be found on Omaha Public Library's website under the Kids Resources tab. In Sink or Swim, it's about two cows named Ralph and Morris, and both of them are very hot on the farm in the summer, and all they want to do is go swimming. But everybody knows the cows don't swim, right? They only sink like stones. Well, Ralph and Morris are very determined to learn how to swim. So they head on down to the pond and get some tips from their friends, the duck, the turtle, and the frog. If you want to find out if Ralph and Morris take these tips to heart and learn how to swim, check out Sink or Swim by Valerie Kuhlman on Tumble Books. All right, now it's time to get started with our science activity, which is a game of sink or float. Playing games with your kids helps them learn new vocabulary, learn how to listen, take turns, and practice following rules. In this activity, all you need are simple household items that you don't mind getting wet, and paper and pencil to create an observation chart. Learning to predict and observe is a big focus of this activity. Okay. So now that we have all of our items together, I have my helpers here with me, Elliot and Collins, and we are gonna get out our sheet, our prediction sheet, and we're gonna mark what we think is gonna sink and what we think is gonna float. So right here, Elliot, the first word is ball pit ball. Do you think it's gonna sink or float? Float. Do you think it's gonna float? Don't put it in yet. Right now we're just gonna talk about what we think is gonna happen. So parents, you can help your kids fill out the sheet or you can have them fill it out for themselves if they're a little bit older. This is a great opportunity to practice some writing. So I helped Elliot and Collins um, fill out the sheet because neither one of them are quite ready to do that yet. So ball pit ball, Elliot, you said float. So we're gonna mark float. What about the leaf, Elliot and Coco? Is it gonna sink or float? Float, float. what do you think? Sink. <gasps> She thinks the leaf is gonna float and he thinks it's, it's gonna sink. Hmm, let's see. We're gonna mark what Coco said, float. All right, Elliot, what about this rock over here? Do you think it's gonna sink or float? Sink. Sink. Why do you think the rock is going to sink? Because it just can't float. Because it just can't float. So parents, this is also another learning opportunity and an early literacy skill is asking questions. If your child is a little bit older, you can ask them why they chose what they chose, sink or float. So if they think the rock is gonna sink, you can ask them why. All right, our next one is toy car. Do you think it's gonna sink or float? I think it's gonna sink because it just can sink. Okay. So continue on down the line, asking your child whether they think the items are gonna sink or float and mark it in the prediction section of your chart. And now it's time to put them in the water. So the very first thing on our chart is the ball pit ball. Elliot, do you wanna grab that? And Elliot, you said you thought it was going to float. And then it did! You chose correct. Now on the other side of our chart, it says what we observed. And we observed- Now it's under the water. You're pushing it under. We observed this ball floating. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle float on our chart. All right, our next item was leaf and you chose float, Collins. Do you wanna put the leaf in, Coco? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's it's, it doing? It's floating right on the top of the water. All so right, two, float. two floats. I'm gonna circle float on our chart. No, Coco. Next is the rock, Elliot. Do you wanna grab a rock? And yeah. you guys yeah. said you think it's gonna sink. Big what? splash! <laughs> what did it do? It, it, it sunk to the bottom. Look, it's all the way down there. We're gonna continue on with the rest of our items and to see if they're gonna sink or float. Great job, high five, you got splashed. All right, so we just finished up our sink or float activity and my kids had a great time. If you wanna give this activity a try, please do so and comment down below with what things you discovered. Bye.